Hello everybody, and this is Glenda Winkleman, and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's time again for Stitch of the Week, and this week we are doing the Trinity Stitch number 211. It's a very nice little textured stitch. If you look at the sample here, you can see it has just a nice little texture going across. But you can see when you're changing colors, it has a completely different effect. So this is my first sample of changing colors. And you can see how it creates a different effect. My next sample is the solid white. And you can, I always like to do the classic white. And you can see just a little bit of texture. And then I also did a sample using a variegated. But I, I really, I'm not sure if I kind of like the variegated. It just, you really can't see the texture or the stitch. But if you just want something, you know, with a little texture, go ahead and use the variegated. Be creative. Um, so today's stitch is a multiple of two. So if you're going to follow along, you will need a worsted weight yarn a size 10J crochet hook and if you're working along with me I'll be chaining 20 for our practice swatch so go ahead and get your chain ready and we'll begin I have my chain 20 ready so we're going to start row 1 which is our base row you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook so skip the first chain and insert your hook into the second chain. Yarn over, pull it through your chain, yarn over through two loops on your hook. That is your first single crochet. So now the pattern calls for single crochet three together. This is a cluster stitch where we'll be working and pulling the stitches together over three stitches. So you're going to insert your hook into the same chain as your beginning single crochet. So if you're not sure, just pull that chain down, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull it through the chain. You have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull it through that chain. You have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull it through that chain, and you have four loops on your hook. You're going to put your yarn over your hook and pull through all four loops on your hook. That creates your little cluster stitch, which is a single crochet three together which is three single crochet work together as one cluster stitch then you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat the same thing across to the end of the row you're going to insert your hook into that same chain as the last stitch worked so pull it down if you're not sure insert insert your hook into that same chain yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull it through that chain, three loops on the hook. Insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull it through that chain, you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and through all four loops on your hook and that creates your second single crochet three together. You're going to chain one and you're going to repeat again. I'll show you one more time. Insert in that same chain as the last stitch made. Yarn over, pull it through. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull it through. You should have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next chain yarn over, pull through that chain, four loops on your hook. 
yarn over, pull it through all four loops on your hook, and you're going to chain one. So go ahead and repeat that to the end of the row, and we'll meet at the end. I'm at the end of row one, and you can see the little stitches going across, the little clusters. I worked my last single crochet three together, but I did not chain one. When you get to the end of row one, do not chain one. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to work a single crochet in this last chain, in the same chain as the last cluster. So insert your hook in that last chain, yarn over, pull it through that last chain, yarn over, pull it through two loops on your hook, and you worked a single crochet. And that's how you end your row one. So now we're going to begin row two, and row two will be the repeat row. This is a one row repeat. So when you do row two, that's the row you're going to do throughout whatever you're making. So you're going to go ahead and chain one. You're going to turn your work. You're going to work a single crochet in this beginning single crochet. And you're going to repeat the pattern across. You're going to insert your hook into the same space as that beginning single crochet. So insert your hook in that same space, yarn over, pull it through that stitch, two loops on hook. Insert your hook under the next two loops on top, under the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, three loops on hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch or space chain one space right under those two loops on top. Always look for your two loops because with this pattern it's kind of hard to see the stitches. So you have your cluster, your chain one cluster. So I use the stitches on top as a better way of seeing where your stitches are. So insert your hook under those two loops, yarn over, pull through. You have four loops on the hook yarn over, pull through all four loops on hook. You're going to chain one and you're going to repeat the process across. Insert your hook into that same space as that last cluster made right there. So insert your hook in that space, yarn over, pull it through that stitch, two loops on hook. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch under those two bars, yarn over, pull through, three loops on hook. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch under those two both loops, yarn over, pull through, four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on hook, chain one, repeat across in the same manner and when you do your last cluster, do not chain one at the end, and I'll meet you at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two, and you can see how our pattern's starting to come together. You can see how the three stitches go up into one, like a little teepee type stitch. I did my last cluster, my last three single crochet together, so you're going to end the same way. You're going to work a single crochet in that same last stitch as your ending cluster. So insert your hook in that same last stitch, yarn over, pull it through the stitch, yarn over, pull it through two. And that's how you end your row two. It's a simple little stitch. It's, it's quite nice if you want a, like a baby afghan or something that doesn't have a lot of big holes. It's just a nice little textured stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stitch of the Week with the uh, Trinity Stitch number 211. 
And if you would like a copy of the written pattern, please feel free to email me and I can email them to you if it makes it easier for you to follow along with the, with the video. Um, thanks for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy crocheting, everybody!